So in 2015, Charlie was five years old and she was diagnosed with nephrotic syndrome and FSGS, focal segmental glomerular sclerosis. After that diagnosis, we were referred here to CS Mott Children's Hospital and we were put on a regimen of pills and treatments, um, trials. We tried everything and now in 2019, here we are at transplant date. So we are a week away from transplant. Um, and I will be donating my kidney to Charlie. We're a blood match. Um, so I will hopefully give her a new lease on life and allow her to return to a more normal childhood. Uh, you know, that's free of all the pokes and uh, constant dialysis visits. And uh, she's, uh, she's ready to kind of turn the page and, and start this next chapter. She has a great sense of humor. Um, she loves uh, comic books, pop music. She just has a sensibility about her that's kind of beyond her age. I sailed across the Atlantic Ocean. My father was there with me. Like a lot of the little victors here at Michigan, uh, she's got a fighting spirit, and uh, she's certainly gone through a lot for a, a kid her age, but uh, she's definitely going to come out of it a better person and uh, you know have, have some wisdom beyond her years. So in Charlie's case, the disease that she has that caused her kidneys to um, uh, get sick is something called focal segmental glomerular sclerosis. And that pro disease makes the patient spill a lot of protein um, in their urine, uh, which causes them to not be, it can cause problems with nutrition and other things. So at the time of the operation, we're gonna take out her right kidney, uh, the kidney that is sick, uh, and that will keep it from spilling more protein in the future. It takes a whole team to make it happen, but the donor and the recipient are really the most important parts of that team. So we're just getting done with Charlie's operation. Everything went fantastic. Um, the kidney pinked up right away. It started making urine, which is a really good sign, and that makes me happy. And knowing that the kidney is working and also knows now it's really up to Charlie to just heal up and get out of the hospital. The act of uh, being a living organ donor is an amazing gift of generosity. It's really uh, about altruism. It's about helping other people. It's putting people ahead of, ahead of yourself. It's really the ultimate uh, act of humanity and it's just amazing each time. So here we are at our house in Battle Creek, uh, a little over two weeks removed from the surgery, and uh, we're getting outside to enjoy some of the beautiful weather and kick off summer, and uh, everybody's healing up. We're just excited to be home and uh, to be surrounded by friends and family and to be back doing some of the things that we love doing. It's surreal, absolutely, to uh, to realize that my old kidney, Lefty we called it, is now in her and that it's doing all the work that kidneys are supposed to do. This next year is really exciting for us because uh, obviously she's gonna hopefully return to a more typical childhood where she can um, not have to worry about doing the dialysis. She'll have more energy, probably more than she, she'll, she's ever had before. It's, it's certainly encouraging. Right now, we're just uh, taking it a day at a time. We're kind of slowly getting back into being more active and um, taking it easy for now, but uh, everything so far is so good and uh, we couldn't have asked for better care and a better uh, support team that we have here. 